So welcome back to Bitfumes and in this episode we are going to see how we can configure the queuing part on our fault that means we are going to register user and while we are registering we want to send an email but obviously sending email takes time and we want to make it in a background that means queue so we are going to configure that. So with that I am your host Sarthag and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook. Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's start this by removing the project we have currently on our server. Why? Because we have done the make auth command in the last episode to create the authentication system directly on the server and that's not recommended. So if I now try to deploy via GitHub that will make conflict. So why not do one thing? We have to say uninstall repository. So it's now going to uninstall repository. Everything is unset. Everything is gone. Now from here, this means our even uh, database will not be there. So why not do one thing? Let's click on git repository. And we know that our repository name is bitfume slash forge test. Okay, and install composer everything it's going to install while it's doing its part. What we are going to do, let's start our local project that means on the sublime and let's open the register controller. So register controller and while we register, whenever we register, where's that? Yeah, yeah, here, what we, what we have to do, we have to send an email, email to a user. And this means it will come like, this okay so this will be here and then we have to say send and send a new mail label so mail welcome like that and this is good so let's include this at the top so we will use php companion to use it at the top and obviously we don't have this mail welcome part so let's just go on terminal and create that so i will say php artisan make mail then name is this then hyphen m and the email mailable where we are going to save so that should be inside mail slash welcome hit enter and it's successfully created so if i now go to app mail and sure enough we get mail welcome and now if i go to resources email we get this template that's okay so we have to use this so let's go here and import this at the top and sure enough it's on on the top okay so now what we have to do we have to configure our dot env file so that we can easily send email from database so that should be database not sync and then here comes the mail trap part so let's open safari go to mail trap dot io and then log in here i already have logged in you can log in easily by gmail or anything so copy this go here paste it and then password password will be this something is missing which is the database so forge database i have already set up so password is root and let's create this forge database so forge test but we know that we are going to use the queue part so what we have to do we have to create our queue so php artisan artisan queue and firstly we have to get the table and it will create the migration this means we have to migrate so php artisan migrate so hit enter and it will migrate and every table comes here okay so even including the jobs table or and users table that's nice so next task is let's go here and whenever we queue something that means we are going to queue this uh, mailable so we have to implement this so implement implements should queue so implement should queue it makes this a uh, queuable part so we don't have to explicitly define that this is going to be queue okay so now if i go to safari and our repository is installed so let's just check this and yes it's here and we have already created the auth command so here if you have not created just create php artisan 
make auth i already have created so i don't have to create this so this means everything is good but we are not going to do anything again because it will overwrite so what we are going to do firstly we have to check on our local host so let's start the server here so server will be like php artisan serve so refresh this and we are getting this this is on local remind this <laughs> this is on local so let's register so sarthak bit fumes at gmail.com one two three four five six one two three four five six hit enter and instantly it's logged in but in the background you will see the queue has to work but we have not started the worker this means the jobs table have the job but we have not started the queue worker so php artisan queue queue work this means it's now processing and sure enough we will get email on our mail trap which is here that's good we have to make all these things on the server so why not do git part so oops we have to close it then git status everything is here then git add all then once more git status everything is staged so git commit m with uh, small m then q part and this is good then git push and it will push everything on github that's okay and now let's deploy now all these things and let's see what happened and it is successfully deployed and if i now try here and this is good but let's now go to our database so why not create a new tab here so we have to once again configure all these things so 139.59.39.59 username is forge and password we have to grab from environment and we have to make some changes on environment also so like uh, this uh, mail trap credentials we have to provide so here comes mail so username is this and password which is this and then q driver is database and obviously we have to grab this so save changes and let's go here paste it forge and grab all these things from here here comes and ssh user is again forge and password so that we have selected id rsa and 22 and connect so we have to provide the passphrase once more and sure enough we are getting this and you can see on the server also we have the jobs table and users table is this we have created in the last episode but let's delete this one from here so that we can create a new one and now let's go to the site we already have one okay so now register and sarthak then with fumes at gmail.com one two three four five six then one two three four five six that's good but we have not started the queue worker so let's go here and go to queue and then we have to say all these things are good so let's maximum seconds per job let's say five but we are not going to use beanstack so let's say database we are using database and let's say maximum tries three then start worker and it's now starting and let's go to our app go to website register and sarthak then with fumes at gmail.com one two three four five six one two three four five six and hit register and it instantly register me that means if i now go to my server on sql pro we have this uh, job and you can see attempt is one that is good and it's gone this means we will expect an email in just a few seconds you can see just a few seconds and this is super cool super cool we have not configured anything but just started the queue worker and it's done so if you have any doubt feel free to message me or if you have any problem in this you can message me on facebook twitter and instagram don't forget to subscribe and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye